I wanna put you in my life Forever, forever 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 Baby, me love when you wind on the pipeline Hey guys, before we get this video started, I just want to take some time out to say that this video is sponsored by Flexi Spot because behind every great podcast, other than the host, you also need a good table to seat the host. And this table from Flexi Spot actually is a perfect table. Um, it's wide enough to fit both of us comfortably with all our equipment. And the good thing about it is it is height adjustable. So the great thing with it being height adjustable, you can easily, by the push of a button, raise it or you can lower the height simply by the press of a button. It adjusts to suit whatever specific height you may need. So whether you want to stand up and talk, or you want to sit down and kick it on the podcast, there will be a special 15% off discount code in the description box down below, and you can go and get yourself your own flexi spot table. Hey you guys, welcome back to the He Say, She Say podcast. I don't even know what episode this is, but welcome back. Episode 8. Episode 8. Yes. You can keep it calm. Yeah. Hopefully you can keep count on the length of your intro because to talk about what's happening in social media. <laughs> Simba always complain that I over talk on the what's happening. Like, I be on social media and know what's going on, yeah, okay? Like, I get passionate. Mm -hmm. Guys, I am Chef B. I didn't even know you. Did you introduce yourself? They, they should know me by now, but if not, I'm Simba, aka Alan Papi, aka the oh, freshest and the flyest out in the building, aka oh, whatever Jesus. you want me to be, I am. Mm -hmm. Okay, guys, welcome back to the podcast. So, what is <laughs> happening in social media this week? Hey, yo, you know what's funny? <laughs> what? What's happening in social media this week is exactly what I wanted to talk about on the podcast this week. Really? Uh, you wanted to talk about... Yeah, I wanted to talk about <laughs> the impact of social media and relationships. Okay. And we, okay. we got a double dose of... Double dose. A double dose of <laughs> social media relationships. And I, I guess what it really is, is everything that glitters is in gold. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the first one, if people don't know what the heck we're talking about, or if they've been living under a rock... Or they just don't know a lot of things. So the first relationship we'll talk about is um Sweetie and Sweetie. Did they Sweetie? Sweetie. Sweetie and Quavo from take the Migos. You know take the, care. the hashtag the, take care. Oh hashtag take care. Hashtag take care. We're yeah. not talking about the Drake album either. <laughs> so um Sweetie and Quavo broke up. How long have you been doing? Is yeah, it that long? No. Like it doesn't seem seven Birkin bags ago. I don't know. Seven Birkin bags. That's <laughs> cool. Yeah, so they broke up, and she said, um, "Well, she, she they didn't even exactly say what happened, but from the tweet that she, no, she said made, what she said what happened. Okay. She said, she, material she, items she, cannot mask, cannot band aid the, the the lies and the cheating." And she did she, also, did she say cheating? Yeah, though? She, she did. She said, did "It's she not intimacy me? if you give it to, to other, other people." people. Okay, Wait, that was know. that was the phrase that she used. So she yeah, didn't yeah. use the word cheating, but That's, you know, we're gonna dissect it. And that's what we're getting yeah, from that. That, that is what it is. <laughs> it's yeah. not intimacy if you share with other people. I mean, and she said they've been been like that for a while, which is ironic because Valentine's Day was just last month, and yeah. you know he went all over yeah, Valentine's all Day, so it made it seem like you know is everything like I, like you said is everything like glitter gold because. You you know they be showing all all of that, but behind the closed door, you know what? Shit be happening. Know, like you know, I don't even know how much sympathy you can feel for. Her. Sympathy? Like, what? The, the normal guy doesn't feel Listen, sympathy I don't because care because for business, it's like <laughs> it's like every time Quavo came and did something with his money that you know the normal dude can't do, she always threw it in their face like, "Hey, we yeah, have you this working bag on." Well, I want to say like not give not give sympathy like. Anybody going through some situation like that, you can offer some type of sympathy yeah, for it. But it's like, what is more important? Because they, they stress, like, these people on social media stress the importance of the materials, mm -hmm. like, right? Mm -hmm. So she, what you were getting at was that yeah. she was like, Just if you can't if you can't buy you a Birkin, you shouldn't even be Man. with this dude. So it's like, do I want a Birkin or do I want somebody to respect me? <laughs> like, yeah, like which, 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 which is it? 
they they put too much weight on the things that's not really relevant or important mm-hmm. to the growth and the prosperity of the right. relationship. And they sometimes use it to overcompensate for what they're not getting. So it's like, okay, you're not getting faithfulness, mm-hmm. but you might get a couple broken bags and you feel like it's okay to it's yeah. not. So, well, what like I, she said, material items cannot bend it. Yeah, that's what she said after right? it, it, it came out that they were no longer together. And what I could see from it, like, when I heard, when I saw that video when she said, like, if you can't buy your mm-hmm. Birkin, obviously how I dissected what she was trying to say is that obviously this this has to be in whichever tax bracket you're in because we, we ain't in the, the Birkin bag yeah. tax bracket. I can't get you Birkin. <laughs> right? you you know, <laughs> but don't get it twisted, okay? Because I'm not about to sit on here and say, you, you know, you don't want a man that is um, ambitious. Like, that is hella important. You know, you, you don't want a man who just sit around not doing anything. No woman wants that. Well, I would, for me, let me just speak for me. Because you want somebody ambitious. It doesn't have to be they're making six, ten figures all these big money but it's like do you have drive are you ambitious you're not just someone lazy not doing anything right. for yourself right. so that's that's what import what is important for me that we can spoil each other and that's what she did so people mm-hmm. focus on the material when she talked about the birkin mm-hmm. but you also have to realize that she did give gifts mm-hmm. to him so I it was like a, a, a it was like a give and take so it's like pampering each other but again it was the focus on the material you, you know you just you just kind of oh that is you see but whatever <laughs> <laughs> so when i get into it i get into it okay yeah. don't be silencing okay, my well, voice come on. we can't we can't sit here and give for you all this attention we got mr Derek jackson on these we got time for him we got mr Derek jackson on these streets let's come now. on the earth we got time for now. him Quavo and Sweetie was the early part of the week, and then the bombshell dropped. Mr. Relationship Guru. I don't Gary even. Jackson. I didn't even know who he was. See, that's because you on me on Facebook like that. Too. He's on Facebook. Yeah, he's on Facebook. I thought it was an Instagram thing. Mom, like they repost the videos on Facebook, and you know. They oh, so you be on Facebook? Who's still using Facebook? Come on, stop playing with me. I'm from the islands. Yeah, right. <laughs> Island people love the Facebook and the WhatsApp. Yes, sir. I'm be on Facebook. I don't know. Mm-hmm. So when I saw the whole thing. I was like, first of all, I was like, who is this? And then I remember, like, I've always seen this person in the shade room comments. That's where I, I you, see You know what's him. funny? What? A lot of his his teachings has been built on biblical so, backgrounds. Okay, so like, first let's give the people all, the why story. You, why, you, why are you so deep in the shade room if which is I filled with, with, with negativity? Listen, negativity is all over the world, okay? And everything else. But that's not your teaching. You're supposed to be spreading positivity. And I, I do spread positivity. But I understand it's a balance that, but you're on the most pleasure. toxic platforms on Instagram. There's a lot of toxic platforms yeah, everywhere. Can you agree that Shade Room is top yeah. 10? Top what? Top okay, 10 in the true. But is it? Yeah, okay. I'm not even going to just You're right. <laughs> so, okay, so let's give the people the backstory of this fella. You probably know more than yeah, I do, so, so go ahead. You know, Mr. He built his entire brand on, you know, giving relationship advice, and he presented himself in a sense where it's like he's this perfect guy. He's running around with the black men don't cheat. Mm, that t-shirts. was the first sign. And there's something over. about those type of men in the t-shirts that we do the most. It's, it's, yeah. yeah, it's like, come on, bro. And he built a level of trust within women who were seeking answers for problems in the relationship. So they trusted him. They believed in him. And one thing that that really turned me from even paying attention to these videos is his, his delivery style was always one that bashes black men. Ooh, right? okay. He would never give them a chance of redemption, which is funny. Okay. Which is funny. He would never give them a chance of redemption. He's always, that advice is usually always tell the woman to get up and leave. However, he finds mm. himself in this mess, mm-hmm. and then they're holding hands, kumbaya, and we gonna work through this, and it's just, you know, it's really ironic. Because um, you seeing that, because, you know, following up with the story afterwards, because mm-hmm. I think I didn't know who this person was, but right. following up with certain, like, things that I've seen on social media and stuff, it was like, 
he bashed some famous i don't know if it, the person is also a relationship guru yeah, or I, a pastor I think, I know but he somebody had a back famous and forth with mr kevin samuels before i don't i don't know the name of the that's, person that's another but yeah but he was bashing somebody that got um into a scandal with the whole cheating situation and i heard that he bash this person yeah. like no remorse whatsoever None. and that's the funny part yeah yeah that's the funny part and i'm just like where did all of a sudden all the advice that you ever gave women you don't want it to apply to what is supposedly the main woman in your life really? because because she's she he, he brought her that. along this is like this is the crazy part he brought her along they sit in the living room Holding hands. Yeah, holding hands like this. <laughs> like, he not letting her go. He like, he's he's like, gripped, gripped, like, like he gripped it. He's like, gripped. if I let this go, she's probably gonna like hundred she meters you say, from the dash through the door or something. No, so so okay, sorry for cutting you in, but like what I what I've gathered also mm -hmm. is that even though he's a relationship guru and he's giving advice and all these um Steve Harvey wannabe type of ish. No one has ever seen his wife until yeah. that point right. where the scandal it's came like out. She, she never really been on his page like that. And it's like, if you're going to be... Yeah, like, like that's just that's dream, hella weird to me. Relationship. Come on, man. I need to see I need to see you manifesting. I need to see yeah, like, from you. No, but that's weird because like, wouldn't anybody that's following him up would see that as a mm -hmm. red flag? Because usually when you see like relationship gurus and stuff like that, they usually have their wife present with yeah. them to give their opinion on this advice that you're trying but to get you know you know you know what it is what i'm gonna tell you my theory on it theory. He, theory. he 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 has a specific target market okay what's the women, specific right? okay it's yeah women, right? okay black women and he presents himself as such a likable character that you don't want to keep infusing that you have a relationship that you're so happy with. Oh, same because thing. Women are attracted. You want you want the attention and attraction, mm -hmm. and you don't want to 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 to, to present them a repellent to coming towards you in a sense. It's like if women see you as being this faithful, God fearing man who loves his wife and posts her every ten hours of the day. Mm -hmm. They're gonna. They're not gonna be as aggressive in their approach to you. They're gonna most likely respect that in a sense. So, so what? You're, well, I have, I have uh, mm -hmm. my rebuttal to that. So, what you're trying to say is, somewhat his brand is built on trying to attract women. It's a pull for him to pull women as well. I don't know what the fuck you're gonna have. Is. But the, the thing is, but, whether whether the wife was present on the page or not. Mm -hmm. If a woman is attracted to that type yeah. of thing, she's they're gonna they're gonna enter his DM yeah. his DMs regards. But mm -hmm. then again, it seemed as if he was the one going out of his way to mm -hmm. to 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 get with other women because allegedly it wasn't just one woman, the first lady that busts the story. It's mm -hmm. multiple women coming out to say like they've mm -hmm. had relations with this man because allegedly when it first came out. He made it seem like it wasn't anything major, yeah. and then he tried yeah. to imply yeah. that it was it was sexual interaction, but not really sexual interaction. Yeah, so he tried to you know hmm. kind of play on words like I didn't do it, but I kind of did did it. But you know, so if you're not listening carefully, you follow the clarity, you probably get caught up in like, okay, maybe it wasn't that bad. Maybe it was just a little playful flirt. Mm -hmm. Then it's like, wait, hold on a minute. Story number <laughs> two, story number three, story number mm -hmm. four, and all of a sudden. Now he has to go and say, yeah. okay, this is what happened, this is what happened. And I feel really bad for the wife because it seems like based on her posts, if you read her posts, it's like her so you're sending she, me some she, posts on our social media. Yeah, yeah. Like, she seems like she, she seems needs like help. she's borderline crazy. Like, well what's that crazy she, 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 she I the main top? It's like illness. it's like she's so beaten down mm. that she 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 no longer knows herself, mm. and she she's putting on this this Christianity cloak to cover certain right, things. She, she, she came out. She said cloak. she <laughs> has the, the 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 helmet of salvation. Wait wait before we go there. So we're she she's armed and she she you're bringing <laughs> gossip and she's bringing gospel. We're and I start, <laughs> wait wait before we go there, right? Mm -hmm. Let's backpedal it a little bit for the people in the back, real quick. So this, as we said, 
he has never shown his wife on his social before. So when the story broke, I think it was the other blogger, yeah. this really famous blogger yeah. that broke the story that he's a fraud and he's doing all this. So imagine the first time as a relationship grew or self proclaim whatever the first time people actually seeing your wife is when you you have to come on social media to, to apologize. apologize for it. that's crazy and, and my thing is she shouldn't even have to be the one to be clarified and she didn't do that yeah first of all she shouldn't even have been on there because if it is that you were doing all of this without people knowing who your wife you is clean up your mess, on clean your up your, your mess on, by yourself you don't yeah. need your wife there as basically he used her as a shield because yeah. he realized as soon as he brought her on his social media it became a distraction people started talking about her or appearance her that she's and, wearing a body like he one, used her as a Shield. One thing that I took issue with, hey yo, you already got this woman being down with the fact that you're doing this, that, and the third. Mm -hmm. If you're gonna put her in the public eye, you better make like sure her. she got on the most, like present her, like, then again, like, like let, I like, even know, but, you know, know more that I mean, yeah, like because even with that, it's like we just don't want she shouldn't have been on there, yeah. period. And yeah. then how he has her looking on there, like just nodding her head. Yeah. Like, it, seems, mm -hmm. it seems very rehearsed. It seems yeah. forced in a sense. Like he's like, do it like I do. I, I did not see any bit of her that, you know, was happy. Or independent and separate of him. You know, and it and it and it's and it kind of reflects in her later posts, how broken and yeah, talk she about is. talk about those posts. She said babe. that she she saw videos in his phone and she would compare herself to the girls down to their so, so wait, was it a video of him and know. somebody? Because what when I read but the post, like it seemed like a yeah. video of him and one of the other women. Yeah, and she was comparing how wet the wap, like wap, how the wap was compared to hers, basically. And I feel and like that's, that's just as low as you can go. I don't, bro, feel, I don't feel that it's like. You talk about rap bottom, and I feel like that's it. I don't even want to write. To the point post. where you just don't, you know, you just don't have any self of any sense of, you know. No, but see, but what's frightening is that to 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 post that. I feel. That's, I feel like that's that's. I that's feel like different. she she she's a believer in her faith. So, a blind believer, like there's no other alternative for her as it when it comes to her face. She's fully set in believing on that, and you know that's her option, right? My only thing is, I would like him to give her the same advice he's given countless other women. Tell her to leave. <laughs> she deserves that. But wait, 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 wait. But but pause. Mm -hmm. Based on the, cause she's made two other videos separate from. From the video together, right. so it's like people didn't know you before this, and then it's like putting video after video by herself, mm -hmm. right? So it's like from the videos that we've gathered, she she doesn't want to leave. She seem like she is. I don't even know what to say content, okay. but basically she using God and Christianity to justify him cheating to say no, not to justify him cheating, but what you to to. I guess cement her decision on staying. Oh, okay. So right. it's not so to justify him, him, it's to justify like, her. Right. As okay. I'm staying because I believe in this and I'm grounded in this. Yeah, but it's but like you know. can be grounded in all of that, yeah. but what is the point? He's clearly not grounded into anything. Not so what do you do at that point? Not grounded, he pounded. He pounded. It, yeah. He's a and you know what 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 you know what upset my spirit? Like when people were talking about um, her bonnet, because based on her appearance, she wasn't wearing any bra. She was, again, women just free to do whatever they mm -hmm. feel like. You know what I'm saying? Appearance wise. But it was just the idea that she came on there. Nobody's seen this woman before. She came on there with the bonnet on, no bra, you know, just this big shirt on and just, mm -hmm. just looking 
Dumb. Like she washed her face in the Yeah, like she just looked down. And then he went into the comment section. Like he was still on yeah. shade room and yeah. then yeah. places. That's the thing. He was in the comments. Yeah, just like he was too playful to the He was laughing with, with people. Exactly. Yeah, laughing he's with making people fun of the about the situation. Our you get the whole reaction video. It's like <laughs> You need in to take this. Of uh, speaking in third, speaking to about himself in third person, at that in it's peace, like full of it. And I'm like, listen, if you're gonna put your girl in the public eye, at least you know present her to the world like wow. So at least when she's reading the comments, you know she might yeah. see some stuff saying, "Oh my God, she's so beautiful. How could he do this like that?" But at least it's the spirit. But like as I said. He used her as a shield yeah. of distraction from what is really the main yeah. issue. So everybody just shifted. Oh my God, that's his wife. Why is she wearing a bonnet? Why would he put her on like that? And then yeah. him being in the comments laughing. That's no bonnet. It's a hat. And then afterwards, she do the video. So we can get to the... Nah, <laughs> so she's about one. salvation. So she, used, she, she said she's armed in the yeah, blood yeah, of Jesus. Yeah. She's wearing, it's not a hat, it's not a bonnet, it is a helmet of salvation. Oh and God, I was saying to myself too, so like, <laughs> yes, I got a helmet of salvation because, mm -hmm. you know, my pillows be singing, you know, to dry out my natural hair. So I understand the helmet yeah. of salvation. <laughs> and, I mean, with all that being said, and with those two, two major happenings this week, it brings me to the question, does social media present a false narrative of what relationships are and what they ought to be. Um, here's my thing with relationships mm -hmm. on social media. First of all, I'm gonna speak for myself personally. Like, no, I don't like. First of all, no. let's put this disclaimer. None of this is relationship <laughs> advice. Yeah, yeah. This is first us speaking all, on us yeah. for us. For us, you know, you we know just share our it stories, or our it. thoughts. You know, this is not relationship advice. I am not Because we're Mr. not perfect individuals. Yeah, I'm we not don't Mr. have a perfect Jackson. relationship. Yeah, we're not gonna ever present like say, you know, me and you like yeah. we're, we're real as real can get and what you see is what you get with us. Anyway, so what I was saying is like people don't want to see tox toxic type of relationship. I know mm -hmm. people always say, Oh, people like to show like YouTubers or relationship gurus and all of that. They like to show you the good, but they don't show you the bad. But who right. wants like sometimes people watch things or get into things to maybe escape from their own reality or to just have you just want a certain type of content. So it's like I personally don't want to sit and watch like if I'm watching some of my favorite um YouTube couple or family mm -hmm. and so forth. Because I, I, I can give a perfect example, like Nikki and Jamie, you remember those Australian, uh, yeah. the Australian couple? Like, I used, I loved watching them. Honestly, when they announced that they were divorcing, it was shocking. But at the same time, I don't think I would have wanted them to present in their vlogs their relationship ending. Like, nobody wants to see that. That's something that I feel like is it's, private. It's private. private. I'm private. Like, I can't pick and choose. Like, I am. People are not obligated to show you the bad of the relationship. Right. But what is misleading is when they pretend like it's all, all good all the time. For example, like taking it back to the sweetie situation. Mm -hmm. Here she was saying that this has been going on for a quite some time. Mm -hmm. However, every time we see them interacting on social media, it's all love, roses, gifts, mm -hmm. you know, everything is fine there. Right? Up to a couple weeks ago. Mm -hmm. I feel like what social media does, it shows the product mm -hmm. and not the process. Okay. Right? So it's like, you're going to see it, a picture of the couple together all smiles and it looks like love. Mm -hmm. But you do not know what the 24 hours Just, within that day mm -hmm. was like. You know, but would you was would it met with kind words? Was it met with love? Was mm -hmm. it met with affection? They they just get up and get together for the picture, and then they just went back to not speaking, right? Mm -hmm. And granted, we don't need to know, or we don't really want to know. But I feel like as individuals, we need to understand that the product that we see on social media is not the entire process, and. By first understanding that and realizing, like, hey, it's not going to be a better roses all the way through, then you can understand that it takes work and you move into doing the work and not just 
creating this false hope and dream that is just all a bed of roses. True, but can we also say that is it that these people project perfection? Well, these people present perfection, or is it that people are projecting these goals? Um, narrative, this hashtag goals. Well, is it that people are goals. are are tra- are doing that? Is is that people seeing? what they choose to present on social right. media and taking that as oh yes it looks like perfection i want that as goals and, and that's the thing they can only select that as goals because that's the only thing they see mm-hmm. but do they do people need to see anything else because i can pick, pick and choose what i want to present then again i am not i feel, I feel like it's just a case of you know what are you looking at to mm-hmm. base these goals off of? you can look at relationships in your community that you can see personally you can yeah, have relationships in your household mm-hmm. and granted not everyone comes from a perfect household where right. there's a love and relationship right but you don't have to have to see a good example to get a good lesson right you can see things that happen in relationships that you may not have liked and so is it that and, people and need to see those things though hmm? like my thing is like no my thing is it's like Let's say your parents never had a great relationship, and that's what you saw. Right? Saw weird, oh. like growing up in a mm-hmm. home. That's something real that you saw, mm-hmm. right? The lesson you can get from that is, hey, when it's my turn, I want to do this different. So you can get a goal from that. You can get a good goal from a bad lesson. You just have to be prepared mentally to do the opposite. But the difference between that and a social media relationship is, it's real. You see a you see more of the picture, mm-hmm. right? You see the entire movie, not just the trailer. Okay, but speaking on that, like, I'm going to talk about, like, we see certain couples, and when, when they put their ish on social media, people start, why would you put this here? Why are you talking mm-hmm. about your stuff here? Don't you guys own a phone? All of that. So it's like, some of these couples are actually showing you the bad in the relationship, putting right. it out on social media, but people don't want to see that. Yeah. So we can talk all we want about um um putting putting just the perfect, putting when it's all good, whatever right? when it's bad. But one time the people put when it's bad, it looks nasty, it looks disgusting. Mm-hmm. Nobody wants to see that. Like handle we we'll basically say handle that in private. It doesn't need to be on here. But the thing is People say all of that, but they like to see the drama. They and literally like to see it. One of the comments that I saw when all this was surrounding is you you have people they turn into these like relationship gurus on social media. Um, they look at you know their favorite couple in the media and say, Oh, that's goals. And they use it as a life jacket to escape or to keep them afloat from doing the real work. Right, you can be happy and you can find growth and development, but there's work to be done. Right, you can't just expect to see someone and say, "Hey, I want to copy and paste this." Mm-hmm. Right, mm-hmm. for for people that present themselves in the media and they're truly happy, there's a ton of work that goes on behind closed doors. For example, if you look at us, when we weren't always the best communicators, we still aren't the best communicators, mm-hmm. but we have done real work in order to improve And that. work still and to be work done. work is still an ongoing mm-hmm. process, right? So I feel like people, instead of trying to copy and paste and replicate the, the image that they see in the social media, they just need to take that time and do the real work between them and their partner. So when you're saying this, are you talking about the people presenting on social media? Or are the people taking from what they see? No, the on people social taking media? from like okay. we don't know what work the people on social media is doing because, mm-hmm. like I said, we see the product and not the process. Okay. I feel like the people watching it need to understand: hey, this is the product, and yeah. take the time to say, hey, what is the process behind getting this? Okay. And then when they truly understand, like, okay. This to get this, I'm gonna to need to be a better communicator. I'm gonna be I'm gonna to need to be more affectionate. I'm gonna to need to be selfless. Mm-hmm. Right? I'm gonna to need to be more caring, more loving, more more thoughtful. All of those are in the process to, you know, getting the perfect final product that they so desire. But 
you gotta understand that it takes work and it's yeah. just not so, so basically true. what I, I can totally get from that is people need to stop projecting every time I see a couple on social media don't be jumping up like hey goals you can always say this is a beautiful couple I like how he interacts with her she interacts with him and just take what you see at face value that's it just take what you don't go any deeper into that like or they have perfection they're so this they're so that that, that I feel like that is the problem mm -hmm. with social media and relationship yeah. just take it as how you see it and end it there and always be mindful and understand that you know with any and everything mm -hmm. work has to be done right you don't you don't wake up walk in the exam room walk out with 100 percent without doing some sort of preparation for the test right right you don't i don't know you don't get the flawless picture for your instagram without sitting and you know i don't want to say make it because some people get flawless pictures and don't make it but i'm like basically what i'm trying to say is <laughs> there's things to be done in preparation in order to get the result that you want right you know that's basically it yeah and i don't know if this is still on topic but it's like what we need is celebrities to stop giving these relationship advice to regular <laughs> working class people. Okay, that's a problem. Talking about Birkin bags. We, Actually, we, no. We ain't no Birkin bags. I don't, I don't, I don't think that's fair because baby sweetie was talking to She was talking to, she was talking to her people. Text, right? You know, the message, the message, the message sent isn't always provided. the message received. It's like, but why are you looking as sweetie? You're not living sweetie's life. Exactly. How about you? <laughs> Go look at your mom. Go look at your parents. Go look at someone that, that 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 that's that's relatable that you can relate to. You know, don't. But the don't celebrities want you to like they're giving out these these. Can you buy you a birthday? Like, okay. Hey, yo, you know what? So, tis me and you and everybody <laughs> else that make them celebrities. So tis me and you and everybody else that can make them not be celebrities. Yeah. So if we don't want to listen, then let's stop talking. Like, I was thinking about this tweet that Young Miami made, and she's like, if you're in a relationship, spending your own money on majority of everything, you should be single. So it's like, does this go for men and women, or does that just go for... I think, I think we both read that differently. If so you're in I a saw, relationship, like, spending your own money and majority yeah, of... Yeah, I, I, I read it as it goes for men and women, and things should be shared. That's how that's I read it. Okay. But then she's a city girl, so you know, <laughs> she can probably be... Yeah, so when I think about stuff like that, I think about age grouping. Mm -hmm. It depends on the mindset. It depends on the age of you and your partner in the relationship and where you are in life mm -hmm. that you would require certain things. Like, okay, if me, I'm in, in my early 20s, say 22, mm -hmm. and I have a boyfriend that's 22, we're both in college, what what exactly am I expecting him you were, you were to expect, get up for? You better, to you do better be expecting me. that two can dine and Wendy's coupon to start playing. Right? With. So it's like when they come with the relationship. You know what? Wait, stop. Do you remember all days of that when we used to have a coupon just pizza, for? No, nah, just pizza. No, no pizza. like when we was actually at school, it would be like the Z Tech coupons for oh, the Little oh Bowl. And uh, the two can dine at Wendy's, and you would always get the chicken sandwich. Like, you know what I mean? It's like, you gotta assess where you are in life yeah. and make it work with the resources you have. Yeah, so, like, taking these social, you have to take these social media advice with a grain of salt. Is that how to say Don't take it at all. Don't take it at all. No. Or just assess your own situation. Because yeah. if we're both young, I'm not expecting him to buy me a big car already has his own home because if we're both the same age we're both in college like there's nothing stopping me from being or doing whatever you're doing yeah. i could be i could be the boss in the, i could be the money making like there's nothing preventing me from being the boss bitch up in here you know what i'm saying so it's like taking these advice about certain things it's like is a guy way older than you like is he more established in life mm -hmm. then i could see you know okay he has his own place and stuff because he is further in life than i am but if it is that we're in the same age group and we somewhat have the same opportunities it's like you know so social media relationship it's just like people have to so, just take it 
see what you see and leave it at that don't try to 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 assume anything yeah i mean I, this one time this this one dude came to me and he was having some issues with his girlfriend and he wanted to talk he was like the first question he asked me is like it's just like a random message he's like hey yo you got a moment and i was like yeah for sure like you know me i always feel like trying to talk to anybody that got you know a question or whatever and he was like you and shove this fight <laughs> well, you gotta translate for the people. So basically, he's asking if me and Chef have arguments if we, if we get a fight. I'm like, people. Bro. Like, yeah. You know, th like, that's what it is. He was like, well, nothing physical. Was, it's nothing physical. <laughs> like, we argue because we both strong minded people and we're gonna have different opinions. We, mm -hmm. we probably fight like three times a day of, of like who's right and who's wrong. You, know, so you like, don't like to be wrong. Because I'm always right. And you see, that's your problem. <laughs> no, nah, I'm playing though, but. And he was like, you know, he, he looks up to me in a way that, you know, I have a relationship and you know, we get along, we interact, and that he's trying to build something similar. So I was like, to keep, keep it 100% honest with you, the biggest thing is it takes a lot of work and it's not, a, it's not perfect. We fight, we fight mm -hmm. a lot. The, what, what makes it work is what happens after the fight. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, like, are you able to correct? Are you able to build? Are you able to move on? It's, mm -hmm. it's like, it's never smooth sailing. And I was like, the first thing you gotta do in order to, to make process or progress in the relationship is you gotta understand what's the reason you're fighting. Mm -hmm. Are you fighting to get better? Or are you fighting because it can't get any better? Okay. Ooh, and, bars. You know, I, yeah, like, some sometimes, sometimes, bars. Yeah, sometimes I be preaching and I probably should Build my Instagram page a bit. No, I'm kidding. You won't ever find it. Like, <laughs> I'm like, you've been doing that all your own. Anytime, anytime, <laughs> but like, anytime anyone asks me a question of relationship, I just talk about my personal experiences and, and then leave it at that. Yeah. And that. But you know, so for him to ask me, like, if we fight, I'm like, boy, if you don't even know. <laughs> yeah. Like, I, I, I think even at that point in time when he, when he uh, messaged me, it was a day when he was having the debate on who would know versus between Usher and Chris Brown. Oh, we had an argument. Yeah, we had an argument because Cause you were you, dead you tripping off my dude Chris Breezy, man. Anyway, I'm not even gonna get it. She actually yeah. left the room mid-debate. Yeah, like, because I'm over it. Like, <laughs> he's like, she's like, Chris Brown don't got confessions. Exactly, yeah, Usher just needs to drop confession and the battle will be over. Excuse me, miss, relax. Anyways, I'm not going back on yeah. that road. Wrong road. <laughs> going down the wrong road. But, you know, that's a take on social media. Pretty much everything else that happens and to me. Also, you know. remember, relationship is not one size fit all. That's a bummer. Period. That's a bummer. Yo, Period. we can put that on an Instagram page in the quarter. Period. Say that again. Huh? Wait, let me wait. My brain just had a brain fart. Let me say that. Relationships are not a one size fit all. There you go. That's a gem for the day. Remember that. Anyways, and thank you guys for tuning in to the He Say She Say. <laughs> wait, you were gonna say something else? <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> it's fine. I was like, I was looking at you like, wait, did I cut you? Close the door on my face, but it's fine. Go ahead, no, were you were gonna say something else? Yes, we are. See ha. No more about it. See ha. No more about it. Anyways, Anyways, um, guys, thank you for tuning in to the He Say She Say podcast. It's if your boy. Simone Island Poppy, and aka Always Ready, aka whatever you need me to be, where you need me to be at. We here, we in the building, we out. Oh, wait, sorry. Oh, oh, wow. <laughs> uh, oh, you were trying to close the door back on me. Whatever it yeah. was. So, if you guys are tuning in on Spotify and Apple Podcasts and you have questions for us, you can check out our Instagram page and DM us or comment under whatever post. And our Instagram page is underscore he say she say podcast. That's how it goes. Yeah, underscore yeah. he say she say podcast. Right. And if you want to check out the visuals on YouTube, it's CS together. together. And you can drop whatever comments you want to make or discussion. Like leave it all in the comments yeah, section. We read, we read all the comments. Y'all be y'all be saying some interesting things in there. We just love the the interaction and feedback. Okay, y'all. Yeah. So we'll catch y'all in the next. Episode. Bye, y'all. Forever. Forever.
baby, me love when you wine pan the pipeline. Mm-hmm. Me lady, Billy, 